You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore County Police are investigating a triple shooting that happened in Owings Mills. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. Officers were called to Marino Court, which is a townhome complex right off Owings Mills Boulevard, and this was around 630 last night. That's where they found three people who had been shot. However, police say the shooting actually happened about three miles away from there on Gwenswood Road, and this is video from that location right near Ricerstown Road, just about five miles north of the Beltway. All three victims were taken to the hospital. They are expected to survive, and so far police have not made any arrests in this case. Well, there will be a special session of the General Assembly next month focused on redrawing Maryland's congressional districts. A committee chosen by Governor Hogan unveiled its proposed maps last week. They're for the state's eight congressional districts, along with the districts for the state Senate and the House of Delegates. That commission is made up of three Democrats, three Republicans, and three independents. The goal is to help the state avoid gerrymandering, which is the practice of drawing congressional districts to favor one party over the other. We were responsive to public reaction and even revamped our maps in the areas of Southeast Baltimore County, St. Mary's County, the Towson area, Southern Montgomery County, and others in response to public requests. And Governor Hogan has called for a special session of the General Assembly to begin on December 6th to act on those proposed maps. However, lawmakers, though, have formed a separate commission to come up with their own maps. All right, let's get a check on that forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. And Lynette, we have some co-workers wearing shorts today. It's <laughs> definitely feeling more like summer out there than I'd say fall into winter. Exactly, and I'm tracking just that, Megan Knight, as we do have ample sunshine and then temperatures in the upper 60s and the 70s as we continue through much of today and also tomorrow. Also tracking the next chance for some showers in the forecast. But for today, those high temperatures are going to make it up to the upper 60s before it's all said and done. Some areas may even squeak out 70 for today, but tomorrow, definitely headed to the 70s before it's all said and done. There you go, about 71 degrees. And then as we go through the rest of today, we're going to stay dry. High pressure in control of our weather for today and also for your Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, we do have the chance for a spotty shower to move through the area as a cold front moves through. And then we begin to dry things out as we go into your Thursday. That temperature coming in right around 66 degrees for a Veterans Day. Megan Knight, back to you. All right, not mad at that forecast. Thank you, Lynette. And stay with us at WMARTnews.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for news and weather while you're on the go, you can always download the WMAR2 News app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.